Deidre Fain. I'm a Virginia girl at heart. I'm a wife, a mother, an author, and civility and event professor. One of my greatest joys is sharing ways that we can grace our homes and communities with love, kindness, goodwill, and hospitality. What I have come to know is that in order to share and love on people that I come in contact with, I must focus on my heart by consciously making an effort to practice daily routines that nurture and infuse my soul with joy, peace, and love. This in turn allows me to feed and love on my family and community. When I am at my best, I can give my best to everyone that I come in contact with. Heart, home, and community is the core of gracing up. So please come join with me as I walk through this journey as I share this art of gracious living. Hi, I'm Deidre Fain. Welcome to Gracing Up. This is our first episode of our home series and I am so excited to present it to you. When we talk about Gracing Up, the premise is really focusing on our heart to make sure that we are at our best, in our home to make sure that we have created a home space that is of love, that is of joy and kindness. So when the home dwellers or your guests that come in, when they walk out into the world, they can serve their communities and spread the good news of love and joy and peace. And so that's really what the premise is all about. And the home series, we will go through details of you know, how do you welcome people to your home? Preparing your hearts? How do you host the preparation, fellowship, and all those little details that it takes to be that person that can bring people into your home so when they walk out that they feel happy, they are rested, and they are revived and ready to go and do great things out in the world. And so that is always the premise of where I come from as far as entertaining is concerned. So recently, I just had people in my home. I had a large gathering, and not only did I have them there, but they stayed overnight. So I knew in my heart that I had to really kind of get myself up to a place where I can give my best to them. So what did I do? I did more yoga that week. I prayed a lot. I exercised. I got a massage. We got a mani pedi, all the things that makes Dedra feel at her best. And so that's what I really want you all to focus on. What are the things that will make you feel your best so when your guest comes into your house or comes into your home, they can receive goodness from you. I used to, back years ago, I used to get very flustered. When it was time for the event, I would be, oh, just kind of really hurrying around and just kind of really flustered. And I never forget, my brother gave me the best advice. He says, Dedra, let it happen organically. So now what I know, and I've been doing this for years, is that I do all the preparation, but then I let it go. And that helps me to be more relaxed. I am more engaged. I am just free in the moment and I get to enjoy my guests. And that is what it's all about. And so being organic and letting things happen the way they're supposed to, it is freeing when you're hosting in your home. So we're going to be talking about all of these things. We're going to talk about preparation. We're going to be talking about welcoming people into your home, making it special for your overnight guests all of that and I am so excited to be bringing it to you. So today we're going to be talking about spring hosting and I can't wait to show you my table. Oh it's right behind me. <laughs> so I am so excited to present our spring table setting. Now you know what we're going to be hosting a lot this spring whether it's Mother's Day that's coming up or you could be inviting a couple over for dinner or it could be for your family or it could be a nice girlfriend's brunch. Whatever, you can always bring some nice, beautiful details in your spring entertaining. Now, yellow just happens to be my color. It gives me sunshine. It just brightens up the whole mood in the house. And so I always like to bring in the color yellow. So what better tablecloth with these beautiful lemons and, and bees kind of floating around? Does that scream spring to you? It does to me. I love the yellow. So on this particular tablescape, what we did was we made a nice little presentation for Mother's Day. And so we went around and it's all in the details. I always like the little messaging on the tables. But for example, this one says, for the most special woman in my life. And what I thought what you could do is 
for each person that's at the table, if you're honoring one mother, then everyone will write a special note and that becomes a part of the table decor, but then she could take it away or she can read it at the table during dinner or whatever occasion it is. So what I did was I went around and I thought, you know what, what is spring all about? It is about beautiful flowers. So we did different flower arrangements on each table setting and I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. Here we have some beautiful white parrot tulips and crispedia and which are very, very pretty. Here we have roses and the white parrot tulips and we have the crispedia and yellow tulips and this one, oh, this is a bunch of lush yellow tulips. All of these things just make it so special. And how about this gorgeous, gorgeous flower arrangement? I absolutely love it. Hydrangeas, they will fill up anything and it just gives it so much depth and it looks like a garden on your table. And that is what spring is all about, is bringing the elements of the earth inside and just lighten and brighten in your home. And so that's how I want you all to think about when you're going into the springtime and, and you're hosting, is to remember you're gracing up, you're gonna have a welcoming spirit, and it's all in the details. That's what make people feel very special. So thank you for joining us today. God bless and happy spring.